is up homies my name is Felix and I am here back again with another video for you all today and today in this one I'm gonna be showing you all the best websites for producers which I assume if you're watching this channel you're probably a producer in some capacity at least some of these websites in here are pretty common so you've probably heard of some of them before however there definitely is gonna be quite a few in here that are more low-key and probably not everybody has heard of but one thing I can definitely guarantee is that all these websites are gonna be super helpful whether you're a beginner producer whether you're an advanced expert producer you're probably gonna have a use for most of these websites Websites. So make sure you guys check out my Instagram and my SoundCloud down in the description below along the playlist with songs I produce, my beat store, my Discord, all that stuff. Go check it out if you'd like to do so. Also, I don't usually say this, but make sure you subscribe if you'd like to do so because we are super close to 20k subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. But anyways, now let me show you guys all these websites. All right, so the first website we have here is called Cordify and Cordify is really cool because you can actually look up any song you want and it'll tell you the chords that are in that song and pretty much any popular song they're going to have the chords on here for. So if we go here and just type in like any song pretty much you can see that we can click on it and it'll basically show you all the chords that are in the song and also you can like play it and it'll play the actual song along with the chords which is pretty cool and also it'll show you the guitar tabs here and it'll show you the ukulele tabs and piano notes and everything so there is a couple restrictions with like the free version because you can pay for like a premium version I don't think you can download the MIDI file without the premium plan yeah, basically it brings up this screen, which is kind of annoying, but if you can literally see all the chords, it's not a huge deal. Also, most songs have like MIDI out there somewhere. Also, if you have the premium version, you can like upload your own music and stuff, but let's be honest, nobody really wants to pay for like an extra thing. So the main purpose here is just seeing, you know, the chords in whichever song that you're interested in seeing. All right, so the next website we have here is called lalal.ai, maybe, I don't exactly know how you say it. And this website is actually really cool. Essentially what it does is you upload pretty much any song onto it and it'll separate the vocal in the instrumental for you into two different files and this is really good if you want to mess around with any sort of acapella type stuff or if you want to like take the beat from a song and rap over it or whatever you want to do it's not gonna be a hundred percent perfect because this is something that's like nearly impossible to do like perfectly cleanly however it does work really well for the most part it works better on the vocals than the instrumental but I use my friend Cyrus and song for this and you'll hear that the vocals are really clean for him you I prefer I know what you here for listen for I know what you can't see shouldn't read so yeah as you can hear here, it's pretty good there's like a little bit of hi-hats coming in there at certain points maybe a little bit of the keys coming in there but it's pretty good for the most part also this is what the instrumental part sounds like So yeah, as you can hear, it's really good. It's a little bit muddy, but that's to be expected with, you know, what we're trying to actually do here. So there's two different paid versions of this. There's like a $10 version and a $20 version. And it basically just makes it to where you can upload bigger files and you can upload video, but you don't really need to do all that. And plus the limit for the free version is like a 10 minute long track. And there's really not very many songs that are longer than 10 minutes anyway. So the free plan works just fine. All right, so next up is two websites that basically do the exact same thing. The first one is Song BPM and Song BPM. You basically just type in whatever song that you want. And as you can see, it'll show you the key and the tempo. The tempo is really not that important because you can honestly just like tempo tap inside of your DAW. The other website is called TuneBat. It basically just does the exact same thing. It shows you the key and it shows you the BPM, except for this one shows you the Camelot scale notation thing, which is basically used by DJs and stuff. So I don't really know how that works, but it also shows you all these different things like the energy, danceability, I don't know, whatever. I guess they're just cool to have there. Okay, so this next website is probably my favorite and I've used it for such a long time and I use it so often often. It's called Who Sampled and you can basically just look at like a ton of different songs and see what songs those songs have sampled or maybe done like an interpolation of or something like that. There's a ton of different songs on here and you can search like by artist too. So if I go to like Playboy Cardi or something, you can see that he has 87 different samples and five remixes. So this song right here was really popular a couple years ago and you might have not even known that the song was sampled, but it will show you exactly where they got the sample from. which is super cool because now you know exactly where that song was sampled from and you can you know make your own beat out of that sample if you want to. So yeah, I love this website. I love just going through an artist, like all of the samples that they have and just seeing what stuff that they sample. And there'll be so many songs in here where you're like, what? I had no idea this was even sampled. So yeah, this website is awesome and it'll definitely come in handy for whatever you might want to use it for. All right, so the next one is called Loudness Penalty Analyzer and I don't really use this one that often, but if you're really serious about your mixes and you mix and master vocals or maybe you like release your own music or something like that, this is a pretty good website to have basically what you do is you just drag and drop in a file um, whatever you may choose and it'll process the audio for you 
And then it basically just shows you the amount of decibels that each different streaming service is going to drop your track by. So what some people do so that their mix sounds the same on like YouTube and Spotify is they'll take this number right here, negative three dB, and then they'll turn the gain on their compressor that's on the master channel down by this number. And it'll basically make it to where your track is quieter, but it doesn't get compressed as much and sound really different on YouTube and Spotify and stuff. There's also other different things you can do with these numbers, but to be perfectly honest with you, I don't really use this that often. I just upload whatever I have and it sounds pretty much fine. So this is not like an essential or anything. All right, so the next few websites are ones that you've probably heard of because they're pretty popular. The first being Splice. Pretty much everybody's heard of Splice before, but if you haven't, it's this pretty cool website where you can download a bunch of different like drum sounds and sample packs and stuff. So they've got a pretty big catalog of like drum loops and samples and drum sounds, like individual one shots and stuff like that. And you can basically just drag them in and I'm pretty sure it's all royalty free and everything. So you don't have to worry about like copyright when you use this stuff. I think you might need to pay for a membership to use all the samples and everything, but you can try it for free. There's a little button here that says that, but that's not all they have. They also like sell plugins on the website and they do like a rent to own kind of thing with plugins. And also what's really cool is that they have a section for free plugins as well. So you can see all the different free plugins that you can download and you can go to like this one, for example, and then it'll take you to the manufacturer's site from there. Um, or it'll show you this. So yeah, Splice is pretty cool. You guys are probably gonna roast me for this, but I don't really use Splice. I've probably downloaded a couple different plugins off here, but I've never used any of their sample packs or anything. But you should check it out if you're interested, and pretty much like everybody uses Splice, so you might as well, you know, check it out. So another one you've probably heard of is called Cymatics. Everybody gets like all their drum kits and stuff from here. They have a lot of really good free drum kits, and as you can see, they've got a couple free plugins and stuff on here too. And I think they also have a handful of different free sample packs and stuff like that. And actually, I do have a couple of their sample packs, and their sample packs are really good, really high quality stuff but as you can see they do sell sample packs and you know drum kits and everything like that but you can go to the free downloads tab and this basically just shows you everything that you can download for free and as you can see there's quite a lot of stuff here but yeah cymatics is really cool and has a bunch of different stuff that you can use and i'm pretty sure most of it is royalty free too all right so the next one is a website that i probably would not even be here today if i didn't have when i was first starting making beats and that is looperman looperman is a great website for getting any sort of melodies or drum loops or acapellas or you know instruments whatever you need it's basically just a bunch of people uploading their samples and all their other different stuff that they make and you can download whatever loops you want and pretty much use them royalty free some people have different restrictions like oh you have to like mention my name or something like that or a lot of people even just say like send me the link of whatever you make but yeah as you can see there's literally 179,256 loops to go through so you're probably gonna be here for quite a while looking through these loops and there's so many of them on here that are just really high quality it's actually really impressive how talented these people are because most loops you find on here are going to be pretty fire and before i actually made my own melodies or anything like that i was on looperman like 24 7. i would only use looperman loops i had never even made my own melodies or anything like that for a solid like gear or year and a half or something like that when i first started making beats so it's a really awesome website and i owe them a lot for sure also if you go to the filter thing and you type in my name you can find some of my old samples that i uploaded onto here and use them for yourself which is pretty cool so yeah go check out looperman and go check out some of my old samples on there all right, so another one you've probably heard of, but if you haven't, it's called r slash drum kits on Reddit. And if you need any drum kit of any kind, it's gonna be on this subreddit. There's so much different stuff that gets uploaded on here, stuff that doesn't even have any likes at all, stuff with like, you know, four likes, five likes, whatever. And then I think you can sort by like best of like today or best of all time and stuff like that. And usually the stuff with a lot of likes is the stuff that's really good because that's usually how, you know, any sort of like system works. So yeah, one thing I should definitely mention is that you shouldn't pirate anybody's drum kit on here. So if you see any like Nick Mira kits or you see like a Monty Booker kit or anything like that don't download those ones because you'll have bad karma and you should always support your fellow producers also real quick another one that i use when i first started making beats is freedrumkits.net there's a bunch of different free drum kits on here and i think they have loop packs and preset stuff and vsts and other stuff like that but it's called freedrumkits.net so you can imagine what most people use it for all right so the last few websites are ones that you can go to if you need plugins and the first one is called plugins for free it actually used to be called vst for free i'm pretty sure and it's pretty self-explanatory they basically just have a a ton of different free plugins pretty much any free plugin that you can imagine it's going to be on here and you can click this right here to randomize and it'll just give you you know random plugins that you can download some of these i recognize actually and you can also search for individual stuff so if you want like a guitar sound it'll show you like different bass guitar plugins that you can use or regular guitar plugins that you can use a bunch of different stuff basically whatever you need any sort of free plugin is going to be on here like i said so another place you can go if you need free plugins is called bedroom producers blog as you can see they have this free vst tab here and they have a bunch of different 
sections of like specifically what you might need. So they have VST effects right here. There's, you know, stereo enhancer, reverb, phaser, limiter, all that type of stuff. And then they also have instruments as well. So drum machines and pianos and samplers and strings and all that other stuff as well. And they also have other tabs about free stuff as well. So this one's free samples. You can download, you know, free contact libraries. And they have this free DAW tab right here. As you can see, you know, shout out to the OG on the mess right there. So yeah, Bedroom Producers Blog is a really good place to go if you need, you know, any variety of free stuff. So if you've been producing for a little while and you have a bunch of free plugins, maybe you're interested in buying a plugin or two, the best place to go for that is definitely Plugin Boutique. That's what I use to get everything. I know when I use Plugin Boutique, my, you know, transactions and everything are gonna be all safe and everything. And also they have pretty good deals sometimes as well. So make sure to check out for that. And usually when you buy something, you'll get like a free plugin with it, which is really cool. So yeah, I'm pretty sure they also have sample packs and stuff on here, but I just go here for the plugins. Another website that I've gone to to buy some plugins from is ADSR or ADSR Sounds. And they also have a pretty wide variety of different plugins and they have, you know, some deals sometimes. As you can see, they've got like an 83% off thing on this. They've got, you know, this one has 20% off. So yeah, they've got, you know, some deals here and there. And every once in a while, they'll have certain stuff that Plugin Boutique doesn't. All right, so the last website here is called Audio Plugin Deals. And this one I like quite a lot. I discovered this recently actually. And they have basically just different deals on just random plugins. So to be honest with you, I've only ever bought one plugin from here. And I think the plugin was called Reels, which I do actually use pretty frequently. But however, I find that there's not really a whole lot of deals on things that I'm actually interested in. There's like this one that's like a pipe organ something or other, which is a contact instrument. And it's kind of just like, okay, well, I don't really need a pipe organ right now. But every once in a while, they do have some really good deals on really cool stuff that you probably use. So yeah, just make sure you kind of keep your eye on this website, but it's not going to be something that you're on like all the time. So yeah, that is going to do it for me in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know you guys are going to get some use out of at least a few of these websites. Let me know down in the comments below which websites I might have missed that you use really frequently. As I said, my favorite is who sampled because I love just going in and seeing, you know, what samples are out there that people have used. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys check out my Instagram, my SoundCloud down in the description below along with the playlist of songs I produce, my beat store, my discord, all that stuff. Go check it out if you'd like to do so. And I will see you guys next time. Over him, you I, know. I know what you're here for, listen for. I know what you can't see, shouldn't read. Hey, giving satisfaction that you crave. I'm only just a tool for how you don't need.